Sorry for the lack of updates recently. Um, I'm currently fighting depression. It's bad and it's a thing. But uh, anyway, enough about that. Let's talk some Marvel Legends. So I got the Amazon Wolverine Hugh Jackman figure and um, you know, it's a, actually a pretty great figure. The likeness is pretty good, I feel. I mean, uh, like in some angles, it's like spot on. And then for some other angles, it looks a bit like, I don't know. There's just something a little bit off about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to repaint it and see what can be done about the, uh, the likeness. So starting off, I'm shading his wrinkles with the Reichland Flesh Shade. Hugh Jackman has some pretty prominent wrinkles, especially in like his furrowed brow and um, uh, the ones going from his nose to his um, to the corners of his mouth. So I wanted to highlight them a little bit. Well, not highlight. I wanted to um, bring them out a little bit with uh, the Reichland Flesh Shade. When using Reichland Flesh Shade, you want to be quite, like, you want it to be quite subtle. You want it to just be, like, a slight tint of a darker area. So, as usual, when I repaint a figure, I don't really have a plan. I just sort of experiment and go with the flow. So, um, I'm darkening the areas under his eyes at the moment. And now we're just going to tidy up some of the beard that uh, Hesper missed with the paint apps. I also feel, sort of feel like the color that went for all the hair is a bit wrong. It's a little bit too light brown. It's borderline black in the movies, I feel, with maybe some like very dark brown highlights. It, I, I just remember it to be really, really dark. So um, I'm starting off with black and then I'm going to go over it after with uh, a pretty dark brown. So now we have some Nuln oil and what I'm doing is it's a shade paint, sort of like the Reichland Flesh Shade. So um, I just want to tint the stubble area a little bit more, make it a little bit darker. I also want to make the mutton chops sort of... Like, not full on beard, but I wanted to like reach up to his the corner of his mouth a little bit because uh, that's what it looks like in the reference pictures I found. So, now with the Agrox Earth Shade here, it's a um, like a dark brown shade paint. I'm uh, just using it under his eyes to darken that area a little bit, which spoilers I find is um, not really the look I'm going for I found I don't really have much like any dark circles under his eyes um, but yeah every step is a step in the right direction because this made me realize that this looks awful but for now I'm just gonna roll with it So redoing the shape of the eyebrows here, trying to make him look a bit more angry because um, the normal eyebrows were really f like straight and f just flat. Like I said, no real game plan. Also really random, but I don't really like this hairstyle they gave him. I know it's the comic accurate one, but it looks... I don't know, it just looks quite dumb. I actually prefer the hairstyle they went with um, for the regular release. This is the Amazon exclusive, but uh, I like the one with the jacket a bit more. In general, I like the jacketed look more than the tank top. So around this time, I'm just sort of, for some reason, making the eyebrows really thick so they just look like like two dead big worms just laying above his eyes. I keep saying this over and over again, but for you people who are asking me questions like how, how to paint certain things, I honestly don't really know. I just sort of go with it. 
So around here, I sort of realized um, just how bad the eyebrows look. So I'm trying to get in under with some flesh tone to reshape them. Now I'm going over um, the eyelids with some Cadian um, flesh tone because whenever Hasper paints eyes, they usually bleed over a little bit to the eyelid. So around here, it's sort of bothering me that uh, while Hasbro's face printing tech is pretty good, um, it's still, I don't know, the eyes usually look a little bit off still. And for some this time, for some reason, the eyes are green. Hugh Jackman's got brown eyes, and uh, I don't really know why they went with green, but they did. And uh, they were also, like, the pupils themselves were just a little bit too spread apart. So, um... I just said screw it and repainted the whole eyes. So like I mentioned, I wasn't really happy with how dark the areas around his eyes turned out. He looked a little bit too evil, so um, what I'm doing is I'm just using a uh, mix of Cadium Flesh Tone and um, just Vallejo Off-White to brighten up those areas a little bit. Also, I did this off-cam, but they gave him a sort of butt chin, which I was I didn't really like it, so I just um, put some clay in there and blended it in and then painted it. And like, honestly, now with everything a little bit more bright, I can definitely see Hugh Jackman's face in there, but there's still something a little bit off about it. I think it's the hair. I genuinely think it's the hair because like his face itself, all the face features, they feel right. It's just something slightly very slightly off about it so this step isn't really necessary but i thought um, everything looked a little bit too plain jane so i go in with some uh, reichland flesh shade here and i just sort of paint it all over the body i'm gonna wipe off most of it anyway but uh yeah just lay it on there and then um, hopefully it tints the plastic a little bit and give it a little bit more life to uh, the skin color and then um, yeah you want to go for for a subtle effect again so here i'm just wiping away most of it anyway that's my hugh jackman wolverine repaint hope you like him you and i are gonna be good friends <laughs> you just don't know it yet <laughs> <laughs> 